kid in the neighborhood was, right? I want to know the toughest man on the planet is. That's what we're going to find out. I'm coming after you. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to fight, man. I'm ready. The movie made me ready. <laughs> All right. Maybe not a sports movie, but I felt like I was following kind of a similar trajectory to certain tropes of sports movies being met and certain tropes being turned against the yes. movie. And it was one of the things that I really loved about it because it was driving us to this end that, while you may anticipate it, still floors you. So how conscious is that for you when you're constructing the script and then in the editorial process? That's a great question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the architecture of the script by design and very consciously was one where there are certain tropes in these movies that one expects, but what I was trying to do was challenge the audience and do something unconventional because in most of these films, you know who you're rooting for when it starts and you go on the journey. And what I was attempting to do was saying, okay, so you're rooting for this person and you're rooting for this person. And as these two people are on a collision course to possibly, oh no, they're going to fight each other, now what? And that is emotionally complex because you're forced to now go, wait a second, this is not how I'm used to watching movies. And I like both of these people for their own reasons. And they both need this for their own reasons. How the hell are you going to resolve this and still make it satisfying? still make it surprising, yet also inevitable. And that was the challenge. And without giving it away, hopefully, and the intention was that the person who wins needs to win. And the person who loses, that's his win. So the person who wins needs to win, and that's his win. And the person who lost, that's actually his win. If that, the person who lost in the movie actually won in the movie, it wouldn't have been a win because he needs to surrender. Mm -hmm. He needs to die at the hands of his brother to be reborn because that's where he is spiritually in his life. Yeah. And it all begins, if you can like reverse engineer from there, there's a scene with the dad in the hotel room. That's where his breakdown begins. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I, I do, and I, it was one of the things that I loved about watching it because... As much as I was rooting for one ultimately more than the other, mm -hmm. I felt like I was betraying the other one a little That's bit. That's interesting. Um, That's really interesting. By rooting for him. But so the other thing, let's just, I won't say anything about it because I don't, I want it to be a surprise for people, but with the ending, what was so, it was so powerful. I was cringing, I was crying, I was riveted all at once. And um, I was so curious how you had constructed it. Did you, each of these fights is like a dance. It tells a story yeah. and, and that last one is the most important story. And did you do the choreography and then work on the emotional trajectory separately with the actors and then bring it together the day of? Very good question. Um, what we did in regard to their fight was, well, in, 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 a, in a broad answer is every fight was choreographed very specifically, um, like a dance. And then what I was always trying to do, and I, I surrounded myself with very talented mixed martial artists and, core, and, 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 and fight coordinators and choreographers. So that's what they do. You know, we figured out what the fights were. I storyboarded everything. But those guys got these guys in shape and did all the core. But what I was a real stickler about also was deconstructing the choreography. Because I never wanted it to feel like, I never wanted to see the beats. Because I'd watch it going, I could see the choreography. I'm seeing the choreography. So me we got to mess it up, deconstruct it. So we were always doing that. So it just felt like a sl either sloppy or unruly, which is what fights are. Fights are not, you're not going where I want you to go. You're not, that's never the way it is in real life. But in the movie, you need them to go the way because it's the choreography. So there was that. But the other thing that was, when I got to their fight, every punch, every kick, choke, strike, elbow, was a conversation. We applied words to everything they did. So a conversation was happening in the cage. They were communicating through violence in order to deal with their past, to 
heal over the course of five rounds through violence. Okay. Well, I'm getting the signal here, but thank you so much. Really did love the movie. Thank you very did much. Tom